Dave Fair, Tyler Patterson coming to you from Thunder Valley, a beautiful casino right here just outside of Sacramento, and heads up play as the final two battle it out. Pretty big difference between the top prize and runner-up, uh, over $100,000 difference, so 279 to 177, so obviously a great deal of focus in this heads-up match with so much on the line. And Jake going to raise it up here to 175,000 with his 10-6 off. Tony looking at the better of the two hands with his king four. Does make the call. Pot at four and a quarter. To a flop we go. A nine, a nine, and an eight. King still good right now. Jake does pick up possibility for a straight if a seven manages to come. Jake's going to lead the action here with a bet of 100,000 after Tony checks. Tony will make the call. A deuce rolls off on the turn. Good call of King High there from Tony. He checks again. Jake will peel one off. River card is a five of clubs. That means that Tony's King High going to hang. And he does go for the 275. That pot almost a end. million. <coughs> 900,000 chips. 8.6 now for Tony. Hundred and fifteen big blinds. Eighty six percent of the chips. But as you mentioned, things can change quickly in heads up play. Jake wants it so bad he just doesn't have to listen to it from his friends. Tony wants no part of that one. <laughs> Not sure what Frank's blabbering about back there, but uh, making himself part of the show as usual. Right now. Yeah, I saw him on one of the breaks, and I was like, hey, man, I enjoyed calling that final table. He's like, he's like oh, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will, man. I'm That's sure you great. Will. <laughs> Tony with an ace and a three. Jake with a four and a deuce. Jake's going to call. Tony's going to check. Couple of tens and an eight. A still good for Tony. That's a mind blowing right? fold there right. from Tony. I'm not sure what happened there. Could be Urquhart in the call blind. I'd enjoy that. 6-3 for Tony. Queen-9 for Jake. Awesome. We'll see a flop. An ace, a 7, and a 4. A couple of hearts. Ten rolls off. Jake still in a good spot here with his queen nine. I'm surprised Tony with six high isn't trying to stab at any of these pots. Seven comes off, and Jake's hand is going to hold. Well, check looks again. Like Tony's going to let it hold. Queen nine.
sometimes in early stages of a heads up battle you can earn a little credibility by limping some hands and checking some hands that might otherwise bet with Jake's chip stack. Two people played heads up for a WPC twice. I really I really doubt it. These two guys are patting themselves on the back I'm again. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is actually a really cool story, and I don't think it has happened. I've sent uh, sent it out there looking to some of the WPT historians to see if, if it's ever happened, and so far it doesn't look like it. I haven't had any. Haven't heard it. Jake here with an ace deuce going to make the call. Tony queen seven going to check. See another flop. Haven't really seen these two mix it up much here. Heads up just yet. An ace in the window and a queen nine to follow. So both of them getting a piece of that. Jake with the ace, Tony with the queen. Yeah, they're both very content playing the small pots. Nine, so two pair for both of them now. And a jack rolls off. Tony's still trapping. I don't think he's going to fold. I mean, Jake's such only a small goes. pot for yeah. two hands like this heads up. Yeah, it does not look like a bluff. Tony doesn't even want to call with the queen. This is kind of wild. He is oh, going to call. But. I understand why Jake wants to keep all the pots small, but I don't understand why Tony doesn't want to smash it up. Yeah, sure. There you see the WPT Champions oh, Cup. The winner of this gets a bottle of water and their name <laughs> on the side of that cup. <laughs> Sweet hands there by Tony. No kidding, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fran Tarkenton in the audience? Like, what happened? No, that was, that was really kind of a bullet. Whizzed in there. Yeah. <laughs> they have Cafe Patron? They have Cafe Patron? Fran Tarkenton, huh? You're going to bring in the old Vikings? Yeah. That's, that's where you go? The last good quarterback we had. <laughs> <laughs> he had Warren Moon for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> How many Super Bowls did that win us? <laughs> 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 it's not chocolate. About as many as Frank Tarkenton did. <laughs> he got a great cup. You guys are pretty close to the. I don't like coffee either. WPT Rolling Thunder main event final table down to heads up. Ben Irwin there in the background, and you see taking it all in, there is a lot of money at stake here. And Tony, our big stack, Tony Tran, ace, queen, offsuit. Great starting hand, Jake with a not so great starting hand, and Tony is just going to jump it up. He's just going to make a call here. Wow, seventy-five thousand. Well, that's a pure trap. This one's not keep a pot small. He was trying to get Jake out of line. Flop comes four six three. Should Could be, be worse flops for Jake and his nine deuce. Just a bet of 100 is going to take it down for Tony. I would expect Jake to bet that most <laughs> of the time, but I think he thinks uh, Tony's going to fold very He's often. He's completely changed sides. The momentum might swing. Like, you know, like, I think that the two guys that are heads up and playing for over a quarter million dollars are concerned about who Frank is clapping for. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about making so yourself part of the conversation, right? Seriously. Yeah, that's wild. I once played a heads-up match with Scott Clements, and we're both from the Seattle area, so we had a kind of a shared rail. All the guys yeah, were kind of rooting for both of us. Yeah, they're like, whatever. You, <laughs> Who whoever, whoever wins, you're taking us out tonight. Whoever buys us more beer. Yeah. Tony right, right after we drink that. Tony with a queen six of hearts. Jake with an eight and a three. Jake going to make the call here. And Tony's going to raise it up. Two and a quarter, that'll do it. I don't have a handle on their uh, hand selection for raising yet. Neither seems do I. Seems like a random number generator. Just fold every hand <laughs> as soon as the other person looks at the pot. I definitely like that race from Tony. 
Queen seven for Tony this time in the small blind. I think it puts a lot of pressure on Jake if Tony were to raise every button, even for 2x or more. There he goes to 200. Jake with his jack five. Okay. Makes a call there. Pot at 475. Flop is a king and eight and a five. Jake hits the five. So bottom pair back over to Tony now after a check from Jake. They both check. Go to a turn. It's a nine of diamonds. No help for Tony there. They both have some mild showdown value, so understand both those checks. Tony with the worst of it is going to bet 225, and Jake, seeing the value in his hand, is going to hang out. He's got a bottom pair. Yeah, Tony's bet doesn't make a lot of sense there unless he's going to fire again because it's not going to get anything better to fold. Three of clubs, Tony. Action goes to him, and he'll check. And almost a million chip pot, 925,000. That's a good pot for Jake. That yeah. means a lot. <laughs> no. Now he's at that 2.225 million in chips, 30 big blinds. No, it'll just be Dan. Wait, why will it be over? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Pretty amazing how much they're entertaining, Frank. <laughs> I mean, it's a free show, right? Yeah, absolutely. Nine three for Tony, six three for Jake. Two and a quarter in the pot. Here we go. There's a nine right in the window. An ace and a four, all hearts. No hearts in either player's hand. Tony at 92% to take this one down. Jake's leading the action, though, at 75,000. And looks like Tony is going to test the waters a little bit here, see how serious he is about that 75,000, raising it to 250. Yeah, there's just no way for Jake to win if he doesn't bet, so he takes a little stab. Tony has middle pair, recognizes the best, and doesn't want to face any more heat, so he just wants to end it right there. And takes it down. Okay, this could be interesting. Tony with queen 10 of clubs. Jake, king seven offsuit. 250 out of the gate from Tony. Certainly a call from Jake. And there it is. Pot's already at 575 pre-flop. Interesting that Tony goes with 250. That's a big raise. A jack, a three, and a deuce, two clubs. So even though Jake still has the best of it with the kings, you see the uh, the percentages there actually leaning towards Tony at this point. And Tony can get, uh, might be able to get king high to fold, and he does. Another bet of 250, and that takes it down. That kind of sizing puts a lot of pressure on Jake to make a hand. Jake, nice starting hand here. King 10. You're folding a zero hand in the bottom, right? <laughs> I don't know yet. I haven't three. seen one that I want to fold. With the 50-75 structure and the big blind ante, folding the button without limping first would be a terrible mistake. 
Check from Tony, so Jake with the better of it right now. To a flop we go, there's a queen, a seven, and an ace. King 10 still good right now for Jake. It's so good that he might bet it for value, but I think it's better as a trap. Here comes a nine. No improvement for Tony's hand, though. Tony could stab with the limp on the button. Jake is not going to fold. River card is a jack. The nuts for Jake. It'd be nice to make the nuts heads up. Unfortunately, there's only 425,000 in the pot, but let's see here. 250 is what Tony's going to bet. Thinking that he's got a crack at this. He does not. Let's see how Jake reacts. Would have been interesting to see how Jake reacted if the river was like a seven or a three or something. That card, it's pretty easy for Jake. Yeah, he just goes for it just in case Tony has anything. All in, and Tony says, how much? <laughs> Let me get a count of that. I'm like, i got to weigh my options here with my six dupes. Yeah. <laughs> Playing the board. Jake will pick up half million new chips, 2.25 total. Decent size pot there for Jake. Tony with an ace five, Jake with a king four this time. Two fifty is the raise from Tony, and Jake will come along here with his king high. Five seventy five to a flop, and it's a deuce, a ten, and a nine. Nowhere near either of them. Tony has position and the better hand. Jake checks, Tony bets, 300. Quick fold from Jake. And Tony takes it down. Tony can trap there with ace high and just check it back, but uh, there's a lot of bad cards when there's a 10 and 9 and a deuce out there. You don't know what's good. So just taking it down at that point is nice. And every bet is tough for, for Jake out of position with his shorter stack. Tony here, an ace and an eight. Jake looking down at a 10 and a nine. Jake makes the call. Tony has a few options here. He can just shove, he can raise it, or he can check. 375 is where he goes with it, so another 300,000 for Jake. <laughs> this is really awkward because that's a, such a good hand in position that Jake doesn't want to fold, but 375 is a big portion of his stack. Flop comes 7 9 deuce. That one hits Jake nicely, gets top pair. Eight and a quarter in the pot now goes over a million with that bet. And 250,000 all in. And oh man. So looks like a potential double here. 85% for Jake to double up. Wow. That just happened really quickly. 3.9 in the middle. This, uh, this changes things pretty dramatically if Jake is able to take this down if his cards hold. So three aces is what Tony is going to need to find unless he gets some runner-runner help. <laughs> 
Oh, this is such a great spot for Jake. I don't know why he sweats so hard. It's so good for him. There's a queen that comes off on the turn, so now it's down to just a couple of aces for Tony. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling. Here it comes. Last card. It's a three of clubs. And that means that a double up here for Jake getting a 3.9 million in chips. Tony at 6.1, losing 2 million from his stack. Significant swing. And we talk about this all the time, right? Heads up play, single hand like that can change the entire dynamic. Yeah. Of heads up action. It's already a pretty big difference now. No better time than now. Did you order the Henny shot? Yeah, yeah. He wants the Henny shot. Are they doing shots now? Yeah, yeah. Tony needs a, a Hennessy shot after that. He <laughs> said Hennessy? That's what he's drinking? Yep. <laughs> Tony. Absolutely. All right. So 39% of the chips now for Jake. He, uh, he's got 52 big blinds. He's got some room to maneuver. Here, take, 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 yeah. I just say shots. Sit down so we can get in some hands. <laughs> Jake does not want the blinds to go up. He wants to. <laughs> Why are they getting in a coffee mug? Exactly Hennessy in a coffee mug? Who's just carrying around coffee mugs? Tony, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> He's got a whole coffee mug full of Patron. Did you see how much he did to drink that? He's got a full mug of Patron. They're like, sir, can you get your mug of Patron off the table, please? This is my kind of final table. Oh, geez. <laughs> Things are getting wild. Well, with 30-minute levels and the stacks aren't super deep, uh, they know they aren't playing for very long. Tony here, five deuce, a couple of spades. <coughs> Jake here, nine three, a couple of clubs. Tony will go up. So now these, these 225... Uh, raises aren't nearly as much pressure. The, with Jake having this many chips, he can just play poker. It's not a constant sweat for your stack. A queen and nine and seven roll off, so good for it or, uh, for Jake well, there with a middle pair. A couple of spades, spicy. though. Queen seven out there, so Tony drawing to a uh, potential flush. Very spicy flop. <laughs> Seeing some action, Tony fires out a quarter million. You can see just by the way Tony releases the chips, he is a steamer. I mean, he knows how to play it up, you know? He's not, like, just going to completely lose his mind. Over a million in the center. Here comes the turn. Another spade. Tony hits his flush. But Jake just hit his second pair. Yeah, this is a pretty big cooler. Imagine Tony bets around 600, and it's going to be a pretty tough spot for Jake. Five hundred and fifty, spot on with the analysis of the sizing, and Jake here with a decision now. This is really in the ringer. Yeah, so he'll make the call over two million in the center. Jake manages to somehow pull this out. If he can fill up here, it really evens things up. But no, it doesn't. It's a four. And so now all of a sudden there's a fourth spade out there. And That's actually a great card for Jake. It saves him. Look yeah, at him. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Two wow. 2.1 going the way of Tony. So now 7.2 million to 2.8. That was a big one. I, I mean, it could have been much bigger. That river, lots of river cards. I think Jake goes broke. Well, it might be time for another pull off the old mug. We'll see. Jake with 28 percent of the chips, still almost three million. Still in this thing, and good starting hand here. Ace, nine, clubs, Tony, jack, six, off. Call on a check to a flop. There's a six, a seven, and a three. So Tony gets the best of that with a pair of sixes. There is one club out there. Let's see if that develops into anything. It does not on that street. There's an eight of diamonds, so flushes out of the question for Jake now. Still has two overs. 
has a straight possibility as well, and it's a queen of clubs on the river. That means Tony six is good. And it just gets checked down. 225,000 chips is it. That's a pretty good result for Jake, too. So Jake is playing uh, absolute small oh books. He wants to play as much as possible. What is that? Is that Jägermeister? Oh, uh, like Jägermeister. It does, yeah, but he said, let's see. Definitely looks like Jaeger. Yeah, that looks How like Frank like make his way well, up there? Of course that's Frank. <laughs> what is Frank doing up there? Of course that's Frank. No, that's, that's my auntie. I don't know why I talked to that auntie. He's telling him to finish it. There's like a little sip like, like you're in college. Like, don't you leave that Jaeger way in there, man. <laughs> no dead soldiers. <laughs> yeah. Heads up action here at Season 18's WPT Rolling Thunder Final Table. Thanks for being with us, Dave Farah. Tyler Patterson on the call. It's been a fun final table, and I feel like this heads-up match is going to get even more fun here now that they're doing shots of <laughs> Jägermeister and whatever else that thing that Frank had was. <laughs> Coffee mug full of Patron. <laughs> Boy. I mean, it's not like there's, you know, over $100,000 in difference between second or first or anything. And here we go. Jake all in with his ace, eight of hearts. Wow, Tony limped if I mean, it's for sure a fold. He, he, if he would have raised, he might have been, he might have been thinking about calling. Yeah, Tony even said it there. He's like, "You're probably crushing me," which he is. <laughs> <laughs> they, this is a good buddy comedy. Yeah, like, it's like, they could, like two cops or something, you know? For sure. See that. Absolutely. Cop and informant. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cop? Who's the informant? <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> Jake's definitely the narc. <laughs> <laughs> and look, he jams 2.65 million. Jeez. We were done last time somehow in like 30 minutes, and I started to have I started with four to one. That'll be fun. And now Frank is coaching them <laughs> from the rail. Oh man, both with a nine and a three in their hand, and yeah, neither of them want any part of that. Finally folding a button. I gotta show you it's possible. Uh, now that it's 50 100 it, instead better. of 50 75 better. folding the button with the better. the absolute worst hands is acceptable i think yeah. 50 75 i, I don't <laughs> think it is <coughs> i uh, i just want you to know it's 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 not out it's it's in the realm of possibility we, we, we actually love each other yeah yeah we're, we're, we're we actually friends. do <laughs> in fact we're rooming together tonight in san jose, in san jose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, maybe he really did ask him to be rooming wow. earlier they really are rooming together in San Jose. Guys, somebody's winning 280000 You can afford two rooms. Well, and the other one's winning 177000 <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're going to have to split a room. room. <laughs> Dang. Oh, that's hilarious. Every angle. But, of course, this just plays right into our buddy comedy movie. So, you know. Right. I thought you were going to burn through the last time bank in that spot. And I was just like, what is going on? Win four hundred and fifty thousand dollars collectively and just shack up at Motel Six together. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> a queen of nine and a four on the flop, and the ace for Tony is still the best of it. Jake with check, Tony with check, and a three rolls off on the turn. Still ace high is good. Jake check, Tony check, and the river is a king of clubs. Tony's hand is good. And Jake will fire, and it's 115. <laughs> Tony just folds his ace. Yeah, scooped it up. Okay. Yeah, I think Jake recognized that had to be Jack higher ace high. It's a good spot to bet. Cards being shuffled there. 
That's Faded Spade, the preferred playing cards of the WPT. Interestingly, we were talking earlier about the uh, the action clock by Protection Poker, and we thought that the the lack of the time extension chips would maybe be a factor as this whittled down, and it really hasn't for Tony. He's had one since that huge tank early on in this final table, and since then, hasn't really needed him. Yeah, there might have been one or two spots that he reacted quickly because of it, like at that at that 10 second whistle. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, um, yeah. But yeah, mostly it's been. Maintain still having that one. Right. And they're both playing so fast, heads up. Yep. Not coming into play at all. 3.1 million in chips now for Jake, who is, again, riding this really wild storyline. Seven WPT final tables, never getting the victory and getting the heads up before and actually getting eliminated by Tony Tran. <laughs> How about that? Pretty unreal. Worth mentioning that Tony, who is our pretty over oh, okay, 9-8, so this maybe will be interesting. We'll see. Um, Tony sat down at this final table, the shortest in chips, 875,000 when he entered this final table. Oh, yeah. Now sitting with 6.9 million. He's going to raise it up to 275. Goes with the bigger sizing with 8-9 suited. This is going to be a tough spot for Jake. A king, a king, and a seven come out. Jake with the check. Tony checks back. Six comes wow. out. Six, seven, eight, nine for both of them. <laughs> I mean, I hate Tony's check back there. 125,000. And Tony's going to go up to 400 now. What a terrible spot for Jake. Come along, one and a, almost one and a half million chips in the middle right now. There's not very many hands that Jake can call right there. Uh, so I don't think Tony is going to bluff here. I think he's just going to give up. I oh, did it. 675, and he'll take down the pot of 2.1 million chips. Oh, that was a pretty strong one. I mean, that would have been terrible for Tony to give up, but it's just you don't get called on the turn very often from Jake without him having a six or seven that he's willing to put it in. Oh, Frank's back. <laughs> oh, my God, the shots are... Those are in quick succession. He gave one to Ben too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just hold, oh, <laughs> Ben's <laughs> like, uh, yeah, one. I can't have this. <laughs> Enjoy it slower. <laughs> Great job, Frank. Keep it up. Also worth noting that uh, while Tony came into this final table with 875,000, Jake was just barely north of a million. So, you know, had a Kevin who went out in fourth had almost a three to one chip advantage over Jake and, and had a huge advantage over two million chip advantage right about that uh, over Tony. And these two have muscled their way through a pretty crowded field of some really excellent players to, uh, to get the heads up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's Gives you hope coming in as a short stack. Nine comes off on the turn. Wow, Jake's going for it. Jake going forward at the wrong time, so Tony's got a pair of jacks, a pair of nines uh, hanging out there on the board, and Jake cannot win this hand. Gets called down for the 300,000, and a king rolls off on the river. Tony going to check here. Let's see if Jake makes another move. 
it's about the best card in the deck to bluff with. Maybe a King of Diamonds would be a little bit better. But it's a lot of Jake's stack if he wants to bluff. And he does, and Tony gives up. No, Tony called quickly. Oh, he did call quickly. He, he called right away, and Jake said you oh, win. Oh, Jake said you win. I thought Tony was the one that said you win. So, yeah. wow, how about that? 2.3 million, and now Jake down to just his last 1.2. Good call by Tony. was, yeah. I think Jake might have been giving up on a lot of river cards. That card was a really good one for him to bluff. Jake's like, hey, how about we finish these shots? <laughs> Oh boy. Tony's over here apologizing. Jake's like, what? How can it be disrespectful? I just, I told myself it was I yes. love these two. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be. What do you mean? You weren't being disrespectful. <laughs> it's disrespectful that you think you are disrespectful. How dare you say that you were disrespectful to me? Don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> Coming to you live from Thunder Valley Casino, Lincoln, California, just outside of Sacramento. Thanks for hanging with us. Over 100,000 separating the first and second prize. And Tony now knocking on the door of 9 million chips. 10x what Jake has. A jack, a king, and a four rollout. Jake good right now with his queen high. Tony's going to bet 100,000. <coughs> and he's going to go ahead and make the move there. And that will quickly get Tony out of the, the mix. Increases his stack to 1.3 million. I thought he said the emotional raid by Jay gets in the pot. I was like. I think we're back to where we started. Nah, you got a little more. Just a little bit. I think I started with 1.7, but the blinds are up, so I'm in trouble. It. A lot of clubs hanging around. For the flop we go, there's a 10, a jack, and a deuce. Tony hits that deuce. Jake will take it down. Yeah, Tony surprises me sometimes. There's a couple of, a couple of interesting folds heads up. Ben's picking what they're drinking now. No, no, no. Oh, whatever. Take a shot for in the moment, the shot. you can take a shot. Me in. I'm like, I'm in the moment, if you could take a shot, what would you pick? We'll take it in your honor. Uh, and we're gonna wait like five or ten minutes. Yeah, probably a good one. We need a way to double up or a, a double up or or what? Me or gambling, man. How many how many shots do you think they're gonna get in? total before this heads up match is done because it's getting pretty lopsided when it comes to the chips but yeah. it seems like jake's pretty pretty adamant on jamming the gas and getting a couple more shots it, I, it seems unlikely they get one it, jake has to win these all ends well here we go oh <laughs> jake's in bad shape here yeah so jake with the jack 10 all in and tony with the snap call queen 10 and as you see Gonna need a jack or some running hearts in order to uh, to stay alive here. But 2.7 million in the center right now, and Jake's tournament life is on the line. <laughs> Flop is coming. Jack. There's a jack. Oh, oh my! <laughs> he just flopped us straight. Gosh, unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Wow. So you see the jack in the window. You're like, there's <laughs> hope, and then it just runs out with a straight for Tony. There is a five, and they that is going it. to do it. They can so chop it with a queen. They could chop with a queen. Final card, it's a seven. <laughs> 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 what? 
What a dramatic and yet not dramatic way for that to end. And the saga continues. <laughs> Another final table for Jake. Doesn't quite get there, and it's his good buddy, Tony Tran, that stops him before he can get his first win on the WPT Tour. And a consolation prize of a hug from Frank and $177,680. <laughs> Pretty good run. Congratulations to Jake Schwartz. But more than anything, congratulations to Tony Tran. He also gets a hug from Frank, and he'll also take the top <laughs> prize, $279,240. Tyler, take us through it. I mean, what did you? What really stood out to you as the, uh, the highlights from this table? Uh, there was a couple of great ones, and it's fun to watch Jake and Tony battle knowing each other. They have a good handle on each other's ranges. This and, is the highlight uh, of me. Forget all of the great <laughs> poker that we just saw. Yeah, how do, I, how do I talk about strategy when that's going on? Th there was some great play today. Well, congratulations again, Tony Tran, nearly $300,000, and his bunk buddy that he's going to be sharing a room with tonight, Jake Schwartz, $177,680 for him. This has been Season 18's WPT Rolling Thunder, coming to you from Thunder Valley alongside Tyler Patterson. My name's Dave Fair. Thanks so much for watching the World Poker Tour. Thank you. Is it time for your story to be told?